Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. We are entering an excellent period for snowfall across the west. Here are my bullet points. So the northwest flow already kicked in late 218. Now it's in effect 219, 20, and 21 with some nice totals. It's a juicy flow through parts of northern Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, northern Utah, and into the central and northern mountains of Colorado. That sets the stage. That's piece number one. Then an area of low pressure. It basically wrangles up all that moisture comes in escorted with a powerful jet stream and colder air so you've got great ratios you've got wind energy or graphics all of that will then spread snow pretty widespread across most of the west and it drops all the way down to the south through the rockies and becomes an albuquerque low there's a second low that will come in be a true southern track storm system um, after the first one so there's a lot to this forecast and there are a lot of resorts that are going to get some decent snow out of this and some very deep bullseyes. And I should mention, even the northeast is finally in for some decent snow. And we'll look at that coming up here in just a few. I wanna show you what it looks like on water vapor. So oranges and reds represent drier air a lot, but let me just mark the key feature that's happening right now. It's this northwest flow pattern with a powerful jet. So we've got these waves of moisture, good aura graphics coming in, laying down some nice snowfall. That's piece one. Then you've got a storm system right here. That becomes a low that brings in, takes all that moisture, pulls in the wind and the cold air, drops down and becomes an Albuquerque low. Then there's another low that will come in and be a true southern track low, and that'll take us through 224. Now after that, 225, probably runs through 225. After 225, 226, 27, 28, it's a much quieter period across the West and more of a waiting game. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So after all this happens, here's the jet. All this has moved through by this 228 period. We're waiting on this low coming in right now. You see it hitting the West Coast. So there's a drier period, probably late 225, 26, 27, 28 across the West, a waiting period. Then this low comes in with good jet support, and then that becomes a low that traverses the Rockies on two, late 228, 228, well, 31 and 32. So it does remain unsettled, 228, 31 and 32. So early March across the West with that low moving in. Let me just take you back, and I want to show you what the forecast radar and satellite looks like right now. So here's Monday morning, good northwest flow. Nice and juicy, still there on 221, cranking out the totals. Here comes the big low, dropping down as an Albuquerque low. Spins up and then it's out of here. Here comes the next low. It's a true southern track. Moves all the way down towards Albuquerque by late 224 into 225, and then it's out of here by 226 with two lows and a northwest flow. I really like it. Now after this, like I said, it's a bit of a waiting game. All right, let's go into the totals. Got this broken down into different phases here. Phase one, um, all of today through <clears throat> the 21st, we're mainly looking at the northwest flow, and you can see it, I mean, incredible totals here. One to two feet over the uh, Wasatch, one to two feet Tetons. Central to northern mountains of Colorado get the most, two to nine inches there, less to the south. Um, excellent totals through Montana, northern Idaho, and Washington and Oregon look good, and I love the totals I'm seeing up there in Sunshine, Banff, and Marmot Basin, and Revelstoke, and Fernie for that matter. So that's phase one. Here's phase two, 22 through 28. Now what you're seeing here, you're taking into account two different storm systems with big totals. We add another foot in the Tetons, another one to two feet over the Wasatch. So we're looking at deep bullseyes over the Tetons and over the Wasatch. And look at Brian Head 30, just like that. In Colorado, another basically a foot across the I-70 corridor north, another couple of feet in the Southern Mountains, some deep bullseyes over southern Colorado. Look at northern New Mexico, a great period there. Now the numbers you see in California, they will have some snow in the Sierra, but those big numbers, most of that comes very late in the period. So that doesn't happen early. It actually happens pretty, but those big numbers happen pretty late. Um, and pretty good numbers up through uh, parts of Montana and Idaho as well. Sun Valley finally gets in on the action. All right, a couple specialty maps, grand totals. Central and northern mountains of Colorado, mainly a foot there along I-70, a bit more up around Buff Pass and Steamboat. Um, again, you're looking at the, the collective effort here of a northwest flow and two storm systems. The bigger totals are going to be in southern Colorado. 
two different storm systems, a nice flow regime here. Uh, Wolf Creek uh, approaching three feet. Same with Rio Grande Pyramid, Silverton, Silverton Mountain, uh, Purgatory, Telluride, all look good with um, about a foot all the way down to the valley floor in Durango out of this thing. So definitely some colder air forcing that all the way down. And the bullseye up here in the Wasatch, one of them, about three feet right on the nose. Um, and that's 219 through 228. This is going to be an excellent period. Um, at least three feet up in the up in the Tetons grand totals. You had seven last night. You've got a lot more coming. You could end up with three feet or even four feet up in parts of the Tetons out of this by 228. Um, and into the northeast. So most of this hits on 223. And then another storm system comes late in the period adding to these numbers. So I like what I'm seeing. It's about a foot to two feet. Um, from Ragged all the way up to Mad River, Whiteface, Jay Peak, and a bit more over Mount Washington. So finally talking some decent totals here for the Northeast. Enjoy that. In fact, enjoy all this. This is going to be a great period, guys. Um, just stay safe out there, and thanks for tuning in. Always appreciate it.